hit at six o'clock. So yeah, we need to start. We shall hurry up. Okay, I'll just give me one sec before we start. All right. Good evening and welcome. This is a Green Goddess Green Club and we are at another workshop, the Orchid Mounting Workshop. And we're going to start the workshop with a beautiful bhajan from Ms. Maladi. Over to Nina. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who has come in today. And uh, I think as green goddesses, we're really looking forward to this gorgeous, gorgeous workshop. And look at all the orchids which are with me. It's, a, it's going to be a beautiful workshop and thank you guys for coming in. Um, this is a lovely bhajan, short one, but you can swing to it. Jume, jume, sari dharti. Jume asma, jume jume sari dharti, jume asma, dek kana kamukuda, charmaya chandrama, dek kana kamukuda, charmaya chandrama, govinda lare, chandra chavi hai aisi pyari, जिस पर जाए जग बलिहारी चंद्र छवि है ऐसी प्यारी जिस पर जाए जग बलिहारी नंद लाल का जन्मदिन मनाए जहां नंद लाल का जन्मदिन मनाए जहां Dek kana ka mukda sharmaya chandrama Govinda laare Angne me pal na ati piyara Palne me jule gopala Hai nirali iski maya nirali ye sama Hai nirali iski maya nirala ye sama Dek kana ka mukda sharmaya chandrama Govinda laare Govinda laare Govinda laare Laare alare Govinda laare Thank you, Nina. Lovely, Nina. Thank you so much for starting us off with that beautiful bhajan, Nina. And now, um, we've been having a series of workshops, DIY with Jeff, and the last workshop was terrarium and kokidama before that. And we had given a prize for the best terrarium, and the winner was a 12-year-old uh, uh, a gardening enthusiast and we're just going to quickly have a word with her because she's gone on to do more terrariums for us. So to introduce her, uh, we have Jayu. Yeah. Hi. Uh, Sapna, we are really, really proud of your niece, Devi. And Devi, I'm so proud of you because the whole thing started with uh, Jeff's DIY that we wanted to influence more children. And you've taken it like a cake, like you've really done fantastic fantastic terraniums. So Sapna, come and just introduce Devi and let her just show her terraniums for two minutes before Jeff takes up the class. Hey, good evening everybody. Um, I'd love to introduce my niece, Diva. Um, very creative and very enthusiastic and she wanted to uh, learn more. So I just said, why don't you join in this class? And she's mighty thrilled and now she wants to every class of uh, Green Goddess. So over oh, to you. Hi, uh, first I would like to thank Nina and Dave for letting me speak. A uh, terrarium class and helping me create small small ecosystems. I especially thank my aunt Sapna for asking me to join with her for this lovely class. She arranged for me beautiful containers, plants and pretty pretty animals. 
I had also got help from my eight-year-old brother. He loved helping and did a lot. I couldn't have done it without him. I am so happy. The tag Green Goddess in my Insta post for the terrariums too. So please make the world green. Thank you. Oh, fantastic! Lovely, beautiful. All right. So that was. Uh... Our enthusiast terrarium, and we are going to move on to our orchid <laughs> workshop. Bringing on Jeff, who is going to give us this workshop from outside. We're going to use the natural light that is available before it becomes dark. So let's quickly get into the workshop, Jeff. You have to. Mute, unmute. Yeah, I'm pressing unmute, but uh, it's Got not... it now it's clear. Yeah, good, good. Okay, hi guys, and uh, very excited. I just want to get on with it. It's uh, all about uh, orchids. How do I switch? Yeah. Uh, this is another mount which I've done. These are. This is another type of orchid, and. Uh, can you see it's on a pan, terracotta pan? I just tied it behind. Yeah, it's wired behind. And I've put in my pebbles and uh, rocks and whatever. Same thing, I just wanted to show you that you can do anything, not only orchids. This is another one which I've left uh, in the pot. I bought it in a, in a plastic sort of a pot and I didn't have time to move it, so I've just let, let it be. And this is another one mounted. Uh, mounted on a pot, on the outside of a pot. Actually, what happened was this pot broke, you know, the mouth of the pot broke. So I just dazzled it up with some stones on it. I just stuck some stones. I stuck some stones on it and uh, I've got the one tied up here. I've just tied it to the pot and after some time, the roots are going to catch on the pot. So it's just that things are very simple. It's very easy. It just uh, You just need to think about it. And uh, the roots are really uh, hardy roots, so they catch on anything. Like, look at these. Now, this is the plant. It's a huge plant. Now, this is the, see the roots? The roots are on the, on the tree. Yeah, it's caught on the bark. And now I'm waiting for this to start blooming. Can you see this? Can you see this one? It's on a real long stalk. And it's coming out from this plant. So this is the plant that uh, is doing really well. And uh, after these go, I'm sure this is going to stay, stay, stay there. I've got the yellow ones there. The green ones are down here, but they are almost finished. So it's just that you need to keep going. One plant is not going to uh, take you through the whole year. So whatever it is. Right. So let's go. Now, taking you on very slowly onto the process. Yeah, pick up your bag and empty your stones. Empty your stones into uh, the tray, right? Yeah. Now you've got your mesh, your square mesh. Find a corner, yeah, a diagonal corner, and try and make a sort of a cone with it. It catches very well because it's got its loose ends. So try and just get it in there and it's going to stay. See? It's going, it, it will stay, right? So now what you do is, now you can take your, your cord, which I've given you. Yeah. What you do is just make small pieces of them. Yeah, cut small pieces just so that you can tie it. Look at this piece. Just about a span long, yeah? So cut about five or six pieces of those. I've got it here. And I've got, I think I've got three here. I'm going to cut about two more, yeah? 
This is just to tie the mesh together. So don't worry about the length being the same or anything like that. Good. So I'm picking up my square mesh. Preeti, please tell me if uh, I'm okay with the speed. It's uh, good, Jeff. The speed is good. The video is a bit slow, so I'm going to try turning off the other's video just so to see if we can keep this constant. Okay. Right. So I just try and make a cone here using one corner as the base, right? And I'm going to tie just one. See, just loop it through. And once you get one, you've got the others. See this? Okay. Tie it. That's it. Once you get the first knot on, the others are very simple. Taking another piece. And I'll tie the top, I think. Yeah. You can tie it anywhere, as long as, you know, the shape is maintained. Another one here. And you can leave the ends. We can trim them later. Okay, this seems to be sticking out a bit. So I'm going to tie this down here. Yeah, I found this very interesting because uh, it's easy. You can pick this mesh up at any hardware store. Even this plastic cord is available. Some of you may want to use the jute, but it gets rotten after some time and it doesn't look too good when it gets wet as well. So you'll have to redo the whole thing after some time. So I went plastic on the, on the plastic rope. I'm tying another one at the bottom because it was sort of a gaping. So I'm fastening the bottom. And that's it. I've got my cone and you can press it down to make any sort of a shape you want. Okay. Now, if your bottom is gaping, don't worry, let it be as long as the shape, it maintains the shape. Don't try and cut off too much. Then it may look a bit, uh, you know, too flat at the bottom. The conical, the point of the cone is important. It looks good. And can you see one side is higher than the other? Now I'm going to just leave it. If you want, you can, trim it and make it flat. I'm going to just leave it. Now, uh, just to show you how I'm going to mount it, I stuck this branch into this sort of a concrete piece, which uh, concrete piece of art, which Bryony did, my daughter. And I just fastened it in. I pushed in a bit of a stone to stabilize it. Yeah. You can do it on your window grill or you can do it on a tree like I've done. Yes. Right. So now leave this away. Pick up the other part of your cord. And I'm not going to use much. So I'm just going to cut a piece off. I don't know if you are mounting with me, but maybe you're just making the cone for now and you're going to mount it later. It's okay. But here I need to mount it. If not, it's going to be, you know, a little unstable. So what's going to happen is, I think it comes in here. This will look good if it's here. Or a little lower. Yes. Yeah, that's good. So I'm tying it here. Sending it through. Taking it the other side. And a couple of knots at the back. Is the cone closed at the bottom at, when you finish up, Jeff? Or will it stay open? No, you can look at it. Okay. It's open at the bottom. Some of yours may be closed, but if it's open, no problem. The whole thing is going to be very contained because we are going to throw in the plastic uh, packet in. All right. So it's going to be fine once that comes in. Jeff goes I'm doing another. 
Yes, Jeff. I'm tying, I'm tying this at the bottom here so that it stays close to the branch and just not hangs around here. Everything is about stability. You need to stabilize your the container of your plant, whether it's a pot or a mesh cone or a planter, whatever it is, it needs to be stable. Only then the roots catch well. Okay. Anjit, can we hang it on the balcony grill? Yes, you can. You can hang it on your balcony grill. You can hang it anywhere. Yeah, your window grill. Right. Now, uh, notice that I have uh, put the joint in front. Now, this is not necessary. The joint could have gone behind if I had flattened the top. But since the top had this peak, I let it stay here. Because later what will happen is you may need to fasten the stems to the peak. I will, I will take you through that later. Okay. So you can do it however you want. If you want the neater part in front or you, and you don't mind this or whatever, right? I just want you to be aware that I'm, I'm willfully doing this, right? Okay, now you pick up your, your packet. Jeff, as yes. you're doing that, uh, when you're choosing a spot for your orchid, does it, how much sunlight does it need? A totally uh, shaded place will be good, which is a partial sunlight, no direct sun, but I may be contradicting myself if I say that because look at this. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the east and that is the west. So I have from about, uh, from one o'clock or two o'clock, I get direct sun till about three, four o'clock. So there is direct sun on these plants. But if you look up the uh, encyclopedia or whatever to check about how to grow orchids, they say uh, shaded light will be good, better. Yeah, they do better. Right. So I'm taking my packet and I'm just making holes. Yeah, just cut holes. Or if you don't want to cut it, just tear holes. See, I'm just tearing holes, quite a few of them. And can you see the holes? They are just haphazard. Yeah, just anywhere. Just make holes. This is for the water to drain out. Particularly see that the bottom most has a hole so that the, yeah. Right. So I've made about four holes. You can make a few more, right? So look at that. My plastic has holes. Yeah. Very random holes. Okay. Right. So hold, put your hand right through the packet and let your hand go right through and then push it in so that it goes right through to the end, right? Hold it from the outside and take out your hand. You've got your packet right to the bottom, yeah? So you can see your mesh and then settle it down to the sides. If it's flopping over the sides, settle it down to the sides. Are we okay? Yes. So this is how your cone looks. Good. Really good. Right? This looks good. Now pick up your stones. All the gravel I've given you. Yeah, not the coal. The gravel. And see that the big ones go to the bottom. So that it holds down the plastic as well. Yeah, I've dropped in one. And I've dropped in one, two, three and send your hand down and see that it holds down the plastic. Okay, look at it from the top. Yes, that's it. Okay, and you can just pull this up a bit and see that it's settled down and you can put it back, right? Now I'm gonna put more gravel, put more rocks and build up the base. Okay. I'm throwing mostly all of them in, right? If you've made a real deep cone, then you need to fill it. Okay, right. 
Now, if you do not have any more, don't bother because you've got lots in the pot that I've sent you, okay? So there are quite a lot there. Right. Now, if we are done with this, can we go on to removing the plant from the pot? Preeti, are yes. we okay? Uh, we are good. If anyone is uh, lying back, you can just type in and we will, of course, give you all the procedure and you can catch up. Can you message uh, Preeti, please? If you just message, then I'll take you through the whole thing once more. Yes, sir. Sure. Hey, this has some fungus on it. Yeah? Yeah, we're good to go, Jeff. And uh, just want to tell everyone that Jeff had set everything for the uh, inside, but there was a power cut, and now we are making do outside, and Jeff is really sweating it out for us. We really appreciate it, Jeff. Yeah, it was all supposed to be set up inside, and we've got a beautiful setting inside, but uh, no power. Never mind. They are cutting trees down, it seems. Okay, right. So now pick up your pot. Okay. No panic. Yeah. I know it's slightly heavy. Uh, remove the stones that you can from the top and put them in the tray. Okay. And if you see any stalks which are not useful, like hanging around, just cut them off. You don't have to worry. Okay. And throw them away. You're not going to use them. Take all the stones out, the stones that are on the top. Now, if there are some stones that are not coming out because the roots are lodged on them, don't pull those stones out. Okay? To the back. Uh, Rasham uh, just messaging that her plastic is not holding the stones. Why? It should hold the stones. The plastic is not holding the stones. The cone is holding the stones. The mesh is holding the stones. Maybe her plastic has gone fully down. You'll have to pull the plastic up. Okay. So for the others, now I can't take out any more stones because all these uh, roots are on the stones. Okay. Right. And can you see my roots? They've also left the pot. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to delicately, carefully try and separate the root from the pot, yes, that's okay. Right, and I've left back some because I couldn't just pull them out. Well, actually they are dead roots. See, they are empty, so that's okay. So I've got the healthy ones here. And what I'm gonna do further is, I'm gonna pull this away from the pot. There you go, okay? Yeah, pull the plant away from the pot. Never mind if the roots are holding on to the pot, you'll have to nudge it out. Okay, that's it. And I'm placing it in my tray. Right? Okay, now can you, can you see that there are two plants in this pot? There are two plants, one here and one here. Right? Now I'm gonna carefully separate this and see which are the roots that belong to this plant and try and get that away from the other. And you will see that I have lots of black roots which are all rotten. It has no function. So I'm gonna just cut that away. I'm, I'm tearing them apart very slowly. And with the other hand, I'm trying to loosen the roots. Good. Now these are not, these are dead. See, all the black roots are dead, but they are not letting go. Okay, good. So I've separated this, which has the flower, right? And it has some roots on it. Can you see these black roots? I'm gonna just cut them away because there's no function and there's no point in crowding the pot, okay? So cut away the black root. Please notice this root is black, but at the end of it, you see some white, but it's hollow, it's gone. Yeah, so you need to cut that away. As soon as the root gets black, it's dead. 
Okay. That's there. Okay. Need to need to share something very important. Now this is supposed to be the heart of the plant. See, this is the plant. Right? Right at the bottom. This is the heart of the plant. Right? The heart of the plant should not sit in water. The heart of the plant should not be wet all the time. Right? So that is why drainage is very important. Okay? So now there's a stone that is stuck on here. I'm just going to let him be. Just leave him be. Right? And I'm going to try and place this in the cone. Gathering the roots together and placing it in the cone. Now can you see that it's going to be very deep? And all my roots are going to die, right? So now I'm going to take it out, put it to the side, and whatever I have here, the coal and the stones from the pot, I'm going to put them in. Right? Now you can mix the coal with the stones. Just fill it up, fill up your cone, fill up your cone. Yeah. The plant. Good. Now, can you see this? I fill the cone and I've got about three inches or a little more, maybe three or four inches from the last stone to the edge of the cone. Okay? Just about so much. But one finger. Right? I'm letting that be. Picking up my plant. Carefully, because if you bend the leaves, the leaves break. If you bend the stalk, the stalk breaks, right? And now I'm placing these roots on the top. I am not pushing the roots in like this. I'm separating the roots. I'm putting my hands underneath my, my fingers, and I'm placing my roots that way. Can you see the roots are on the top? Unlike other plants, what would we do with other plants? We would see that all the roots get in together. We will push it in that way. No. An orchid, you put your hand underneath, right? And you put your full hand in. And let your roots be on the surface. If they are sticking out, it's okay. Right? Now with the remaining stones, I want you to just place them carefully on the roots. This is to stabilize the plant. Okay? So that the plant doesn't Sag to a side. Okay. Now these are some stems which were, which had earlier uh, blooms on them. See that you don't cut them away because this is the energy storage. The storage of energy happens in this. Yeah. Don't think the, the flower is over so I can cut off that stem. No. I'll show you this other plant also. After I finish this, I'll show you another plant of mine. There are lots of dry ones. You think they are dry, but then they are functioning, okay? Okay, this is toppling over, and I need some help on this. So when choosing uh, where you're going to hang your orchid, make sure it's sturdy and solid. Okay. So... I think Jeff, can you okay. hear me, Jeff? Yes, yes, Preeti. Okay. Because Kalpana had a question. She said her plant is not coming out at all. So she has to give it a... You'll have to wrench it out. Wrench That's it what out. I did. You have to wrench it out. But be careful and see that you don't lose all your uh, good roots. The roots that are really healthy will be holding on to the pot. So when you're pulling it out, you have to see that you pick up about 50% of the good roots. Okay. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place some more stones on the top of the roots. Okay? All around the plant, not on the plant. Yeah? Do it all around the plant. See, I'm placing them at the back as well so that the plant doesn't topple. I've got some coal. I'm throwing in some coal. Yeah? I've got a few more rocks. 
I'm going to throw in some rocks. Okay, that's my neighbor's dog. Right. Uh, there are a few big rocks here. These are real good ones. So I'm going to place them right there so that the plant is stabilized further. Right. And there you go. Now what you will find is the new roots will come out from the top and they'll grow onto these stones that are on the top, the rocks. This is also going to catch on this. Yeah. So just let all of them be. Let this also stay around. Yeah. They're all going to be okay. Right. Uh, now this is slightly shaky. So I'm going to tie this up to give it some stability. I told you about the mesh. Yeah, that I'm keeping the mesh. So I'm tying it onto the mesh. If you don't have the mesh, you can tie it onto the grill or you can tie it onto your branch, whichever. Just a knot there. And another. Okay, so that's straight and it's stable. Now I've given you a packet with a little bit of uh, wormy compost and, uh, and cocoa peat and it has quite a bit of everything in it. I'm going to empty it down here for you to have an idea, right? This is my personal uh, mix that I use for, for orchids. The white stuff you will see, it's got vermiculite, it's got, it's got quite a bit of stuff because you need to uh, get your soil a bit porous. So I, I use vermiculite, that's a white stuff and it's a good mix, right? Now actually soil is not necessary for, for orchids. But in Chennai, because it's so hot and it's really, really hot and it needs a bit of uh, manure and uh, something to kickstart it, I just throw a little bit on the top. Can you see that? Just a bit on the top. And when you spray it with water, it's going to go down. And wherever it goes, it goes. Yeah. And that's it. Now, can I take any questions, Preeti? A few questions coming in, Jeff. Uh, Suma wants to know, one of the thing is the stones are too heavy and makes a hole and falls out of the cone. Shouldn't the cone be totally closed? So yeah. The cone is closed. The cone is totally closed. At the bottom, it doesn't have a big uh, hole for a stone to fall out. And the plastic is already there. So how can the stone fall out? Maybe too many stones. Maybe too no, 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 no. Maybe the holes are too big. Okay. Yeah. And okay. if the holes are big, you just put your hand in and fold the plastic at that particular area or move the plastic to away, move the hole away from the bottom of the hole and it's going to stay. Yeah. Someone's asking. Yeah. If you have two uh, plants, yeah. some parts have two, some parts have one, right? Yeah. So they have to know. Just tell them that. This lady saying, I don't know. Now, this is the other part of the plant. Okay? I'm going to place it in another cone. I'm going to leave it to you. You pick up the mesh and you place it in another cone. Or you pick up a nice pot with a very well aerated pot. See this pot? The pot that it came to you. Can you see the holes in that pot? Now, this is a pot that you grow orchids in. So you put the orchid back and you put in some stones and you grow your orchid in your pot. No, she's asking. Then how delicate are these orchids? Like you have two plants. So can you just uh, break them apart? Like when you're pulling them all up? The, yeah, she's asking if all the plants that came to everybody have two plants. So some can be one, right? That's uh, what she's I, I think the question identify. is... Uh, what if you have only one plant? It's okay if no, you no, have no, only one no, plant. No, Jeff, the question is, actually, it's from Ritu. She's got two plants and she's finding it difficult to separate the two. So can she use a little bit more muscle power and pull it apart? Uh, if they are really closely uh, 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 set, then you put it in one. 
then you use it as one. Okay. Mine were already separated, I think. If you saw them, they were very far apart. But if it's going to be one big cluster, then you just put the whole thing in, no problem. Okay. Uh, let it be just one big plant. Uh, I would like to talk to Sujata. Uh, Sujata, you said that uh, your plant had only one with leaves and the other was full of dry stuff. Can you see this? This plant had lots of dry stuff and it had only this. Yeah, but I, but I set it here and now the new ones have come up. Uh, and this is also a new one. This whole thing is a new one. So don't worry, those are all the energy uh, busters. So don't cut them away. Look at this plant. See, it's got only one here or maybe, yeah, one, two. But can you see this? It's got lots of these dry stuff. So let it be. All the energy from the plant is in this. Yeah. And uh, when your plant goes uh, dormant, you need energy to restart the plant. And these are all the energizers. Yeah. All the energizers. Here they are. They just may look dry, but they are not. If you snip them, you will know that they are not dry. I'm going to snip one. Guys, I want you to watch this. You think this is dry? Yeah. I'm going to snip this one. Can you see how much of energy there is in there? Okay, the connectivity it's, is a bit slow. So, Brian, we just uh, move the camera a little more slowly, please. Slowly. Okay, okay. Okay, can you see this? It looked dry, but can you see what's happening inside? There's a lot of energy here. I'm going to do this again. For those who didn't see, I'm going to snip that one. Can you see it's green inside? Yeah. And see this? It's green inside. Yeah. So please don't cut off your, uh, your energy givers to the plant. Yeah, it just has to be there. You want to drink some water till I take the next question? Yes, uh, I think it's quite, uh, I think we should give them some time to put it all together. They are all, I can see Sujata, Making the mesh and she's putting in the uh, you're putting in the stones. Yes, Sujata, you have something? No, I'm fine. I wanted to show I've separated out these two. Ah, very good. Yeah, Suja, those are two big plants. Yeah, very good. Place one in, put one in. Yeah, I'm going to place one in. I want put to it in, put it in. I want to tie it to my grill actually first and then tie it. Otherwise, it'll be difficult to tie it. What uh, you tie your, your cone to the grill first and then put your plant in? Yes, that's what it's all ready to be tied. I'll Fantastic. Tie Fantastic. But can you show it us after you tie it? I think, okay, fine. I'll do it and then I'll take my laptop there. Yeah. Yeah, you just leave this and you carry on. Yeah, you leave the spot and you carry on. Yeah. Okay, yes, whose is this? Yeah. Asha? Yeah, Asha is on. Good, Asha. Where did you tie it, Asha? I can only see your face, Asha. I know it's pretty. And can, can you unmute yourself, Asha? Can you hear me now? I've unmuted. Yes, yes tell okay. me. So this is a tree bark. Uh, oops, oops, it fell off. Okay, that's the tree bark. Uh, and I've got this cone tied on the tree bark. Okay, but where, where are you going to place your tree bark? Uh, this will be in my balcony out there, right? Uh, okay, I will as long it as it gets uh, partial sunlight, okay? It, yeah, it will get partial sunlight. Just. Okay, now talking about that's great, Asha. Now, talking okay. about watering this plant, okay, right? Yeah. I'm just going to sprinkle a little, a little bit of water on it. Okay. Yeah. Just to get the, the manure into the plant. That's it. That's it. That's all water it needs. And can you see the water dripping, dripping down? See the water coming out here? I'm going to do it again. Come this side so that they can see the water. As soon as you pour water, it should drip out. Only then you know your drainage is good. Can you see the water dripping out? 
Yes, yes. Yes, that's important. That's very important. Now, what we are doing is we are just wetting the roots and we are wetting the stones and the coal. So your watering happens every day, yeah, wherever you have it, whether you have it in the shade or whether you have it right out in the sun, wherever you want to do it, you have to water it every day. And can you see the, the stones all wet? Now this encourages the roots to stick on to the stones. And then the roots come out, you'll see them all fanning out. They pick up all the energy from the atmosphere, right? The oxygen and everything. So don't, don't think that the roots are coming out and I have to cut the roots. No. When you see your roots coming out, it means your orchid is doing well, right? Okay, I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to cut off all the raw edges. Jeff, can the orchid be under full shade or it definitely needs sunlight? It definitely needs a little bit of sun. A full shade meaning partial, partial light. Now, I can even place it right here. I can place it right here. It's not going to get direct sun because this is the cover. I'm not going to get direct sun, but I can place it here. No problem. I can even tie it right under here. I can tie it right under here. Yeah. Okay, guys, I wanted to see this, uh, this uh, sort of a tree. Can you see the star fruit here? Where is it? Ha. Huh. Can you see the star fruit here? This is a star fruit tree. Yeah, first time it's uh, it's flowering and see this, the fruit here also. Yeah, these are little bigger ones. Those are lovely, very nice. I think you make a pickle out of it, is it? I don't really know what. Yeah, see the, see the flowers, the flowers coming up here and then you get the fruit. I think it's very tartish if I'm not uh, mistaken. Okay, this is my terrarium. Before it gets too dark, I wanted you to see my terrarium. I think it's doing really well. It's coming right out there. I don't know what's going to happen. I think it's going to grow down and go the other side because there's no place to come out. So, I don't know how it's going to behave, but it's doing really well. Can you see the, the moisture? Yeah. Not, not on the glass because, because it has all uh, gone down. The moisture has gone down because it's the evening. But during the day, all this gets uh, murky and yeah. Well, you, someone has come upon, it says you can eat it raw with salt and chili. You can eat it raw with salt and chili. Oh, wow. That's my school days. <laughs> that's what we used to do with Nelika, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, mango, mango, green mango. Even Nelika. Wow. Yeah, Nelika, green mango. That'll be good. So that's what we will do. I think I'll sit under that tree and I will eat it. Yeah, send us pics. <laughs> yeah. So any anything else, guys? I'd like to uh, share. Uh, I told you about uh, I told you about the watering. Yeah. Most important is watering. You need to water, and as soon as you water, you will see it drip down. Now, if you don't see it drip down, pull the plastic out and cut it. See, you can pull the plastic out here. Can you show them what I'm doing? You can pull out the plastic and just make a hole. You know, just tear it there. If you tear it, then you get a hole there. Okay? So if you feel your water is not draining, all you've got to do is make a hole in the plastic. That's it. It's very simple. And uh, there's nothing much that you need to do. Uh, that uh, compost, the vermi compost, which I gave you, it's available in uh, any uh, sort of a horticultural center. Just one handful of vermi compost right here once a month and that will do. Don't take too much of trouble over your orchid. They say, some people say the more you neglect it, the better it does. I don't believe in neglect, but I think too much of care is not necessary. Now, when you see any yellow leaves, all you do is cut off the leaf. Don't try and pull it off the stem. It's not going to happen, right? Because they are very sturdy. You need to cut off the leaf, right? And as I told you, don't cut off all these things. They are the energy givers. So let all these... I think this plant has quite a few. Can you see this? It has quite a few here. Though they are very thin, because this is a young plant. 
my plants are more than about i think 5 to 6 years old that's why they are they are they are thicker stems the stems are thicker but this is a younger plant so they will be smaller anything else priti one more question on watering so that is you have to water every day right yes yes okay every day do you want me to um, make sure that everyone's video turns on so you can have a look at uh, where they that are that would be a great idea so um could you so all... show me yours unmute 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 yeah okay can you see how i put it on the grill a hey, fantastic and that's a east facing grill or west facing grill or what which uh, facing east, uh, my veranda is on the east side where there is a lot of sunlight fantastic i put it on my bedroom where there is a little it, it's on the west side okay good for good information for you and the others an east facing balcony east facing uh, grill east facing window is the the best we because the morning sun is not harsh but it just gives that enough of energy okay the morning sun is not very harsh okay the evening sun they say is not strong enough okay from kalpana you rest for everyone yes mine is east facing good sorry what is that sujata could you just spotlight so he can see it i can see it suja i'm watching you yeah yeah good your roots are out that's nice uh don't make this mis mine as west that's okay want to show mine too from preeti damani okay spotlight hey, preeti you can turn on your videos uh, are... now the person who said mine is facing west i'm sure by 3 o'clock you'll be getting a little bit of sun now that's Thanks, good sure you know you need a little bit of that 4 uh, 3 o'clock 4 o'clock sun mine mine gets that sun so it's good Uh, Sapna, you can turn on your cameras, please. Those who want to show Jeff the plant by twelve. Uh, if the sun is directly on the plant at twelve o'clock, then it's going to have about four hours of direct sun. If it's not doing well, change it. If it's doing well and adapting, that's okay. Twenty years, Lamani. Twenty years, Lamani. Then they are sampling. Can hear you. Sapna Yeah that's good Oh that's great uh, This depends where you're going to hang it Sapna Uh my balcony faces the west That's okay but it gets about 3 o'clock 4 o'clock sun Yes it does Good Good Don't worry if your don't worry if your plant if your plant grows towards the sunlight okay Okay I tied it up on a jute uh, stick is it okay Yeah that's fine Anything, as long as the cone is there, it's going to grow in the cone. Don't worry. Yeah, the cone is here. Yeah. I'm not able to switch on my video because it's saying host has disabled it. Yeah, Jeffrey, can you see mine? Who is that? Camila. Camila, yes, Camila, you're right there in front of me. Is it fine? Yeah, that's fine. Can you lift it up? Ha. Huh, okay. 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 Super. Jeff, nice. can you see mine? Jeff, I wanted to know how much of coal do you generally put? Use all the coal I gave you. Okay. Jeff, can you see mine? I have a question, Asha. One minute. Who is this? Can I see mine? Can you see <laughs> mine, Preeti? Oh, Preeti Damani already on a tree. Wow, man. Yeah. Okay. Now, Preeti, can you see that uh, uh, the flower uh, bending down? Yeah. Can you fasten it to the to the to the thing to the uh, trunk of the tree because yeah, that will break it. that will break after some time okay did okay, you see I'll what i did i tied up my stock to the top of the branch so i've okay, given so you all... some green twine yeah just tie it to the top of the tree all the stems jeff no 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 just that stem that's falling down can you see that uh, flower falling down two of them yeah two of them yes two flowers are falling down now you just yeah. tie it not very tight but see that it grows straight if not it will break after some time okay, okay fine i'll do it now if I'll that is that too high if that is too high and you can't reach it all you no. do is lower the cone okay no no i'll be able to reach it not a problem right fine okay anyone else yeah yes, can you see mine one minute i am talking to arpana where's arpana yes yes just came yes, and she went yes this is my yes, courtyard arpana. Yeah, this that's fine. This is my fine. courtyard, 
and i Lovely. have uh, planted it here Thank you. Yeah. Yes, I think you have sunlight from the top, right? Yeah. So you can yes. put it anywhere, no problem. Lovely, Arpana. Very nice. Thank you. And very nice. Can you but see mine? Can you see mine? Yeah. Sapna, is it? No, not Sapna. Kamala, I've seen. That's Usha. I, I think Usha, Usha. Yeah. Show me yours, Usha. Can you see mine? Very good. Oh, oh wow. Very good. Usha, can you see that? Yes, now it depends where you're going to tie it, Usha. Okay? See yeah, that you tie it at the right place. Okay? Good. good. Uh, this Ritu is good. Yeah. Ritu it's good? has put it, yes. That is one on the one on the balcony no, and no. one on the window, right? No, this is just one actually. I could not now, separate it. Okay, Ritu, listen to me. The one on the balcony is fine, but the one on the window is not going to get sufficient. Oh, Bella, no, Bella, sorry, Bella. Yeah. Bella, Bella. Yeah, Bella or Bela? Bela. Bela, sorry. Bela, yeah. your, your one is not going to do too well because it's not going to get sufficient sun. No, you have I a have, sun. I have uh, sunlight from 12 to 5.30. Okay, then bring it down a bit because the sunshade is going to kill most of the sun. Okay, fine. I'll get it So down. bring it lower. Yeah, fi fantastic. That's lovely. Anyone what else? about mine? My question is this, over time, the black plastic bag will disintegrate. All of us will disintegrate after some time. Yeah? We are not going to go down young. Uh, can we get an amen to that? You tell me what happens after the plastic bag disintegrates. After the black plastic disintegrates, use another plastic. No problem. Just replace it. Thank you. Replace it. No problem. Who is that? Can you see mine, Jeff? Who? Nice. Who? Jeff, can you Kalpana. see mine? Yeah. One minute, one at a time. Jeff. Can you see mine? Means who is that? Kalpana, Kalpana. Jeff, yes, I can Jeff, see can yours. Can you see mine? Kalpana, I can see yours. I just see mine. Yeah. Very good. Where are you going to place it, Kalpana? On the balcony. I'm not able to tie it right away because I need. To... Okay, okay, okay. Right, tie it later. Chandni. Yes, we do here. Jeff. Yeah, show me yours, Chandani. This is yeah, Priya. I haven't tied, but this is yours. Okay, super. Oh, Just that's a lovely can space. You Where are you going to tie it, though? I don't have a place to tie. That's a big thing. Chandani, you can even stand it up in that pot, Chandani. Mm. You know, you have an empty pot uh, there. See, there's an AC duct here. Can I tie it with that? Which no, no, it will fall down. Which, which one? No, 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 not on that, not on that. Sir, I'll tie it, sir. On your balcony wall itself, you have a, you have a, a pot, an yes, empty yes, pot, yes. right? No, it's not an empty pot. It's, there's a rose there, but I can put a, I can get an empty pot and put it there. No, no, no. Why don't you tie it on your railing? There's no railing. No, underneath those cement things which are uh -huh. holding up the black slab. Yeah, yeah. Ah, tie it to that. Tie it to that. Okay. Okay. When he comes, I'll ask him to do it as a driver. Ah, tie it to the, those things. Yeah, that's a lovely hmm. balcony. Hey, that's a nice big balcony. Do you yeah. want to turn on what? I don't know. Preeti, oh, help. Jeff Jeff was leaving for her work. Jeff, can you see my hello? hello? Vinodini, yeah. Vinodini, show me yours. Huh? Oh, that's a lovely grill, Vinodini. That's yes, what you do well. Your other plant is side. also doing well, Jeff. You know the which question. side? Facing which side? I think it's the uh, east. Ah, you've taken another plant from me. How is that doing? Yeah, it's doing well. Excellent. Then place it there doing on the well. side. Let them talk to each other. Let them sing and uh, romance with each other. That is okay, no? I can see Preeti's smile. Then I think no, I this is okay, no? The height is okay? Yeah, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine. fine, fine. Yes, yeah, is it okay now? Yes. Priti Tamani. Wait, wait, wait. I'm searching for you. No, no, no. That's iPhone. That's Usha. Ah, Priti Tamani. Back. No, I've yes, lost you. Who, who is that? Wait, wait, wait. iPhone Usha. Usha, that's very good, Usha. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, tired there only. It's very good. Thank you, sir. And whose is this? Uh, what's her name? Priya. Priya. Yeah, yeah. Priya Rajan. Thank you, sir. 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 Th
Is that pretty? That's good, pretty. I think it can be tied more pretty. It's still uh, hanging out. It can be tied tighter. Pretty the money. You can tie it tighter. Okay, fine. Okay, Jai. Yeah, Rajan. Uh, is there a total uh, uh, cover on top, or is there any sunlight that comes in? I think the tiles are covering it totally, uh, Priya. You'll have to put it somewhere outside more. That's okay, too covered. Okay. No, it's I will covered. hang it on my tree tomorrow. Yes, can you have a look covered. at this? Okay. Jeffrey Ward knows that. No, no. <laughs> Who is this? Padma. Baby. Ayush. Ayush, yeah, tell me. Unmute, unmute. Unmute. Yeah, man. Unmute yourself. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's very good. But it depends where you're going to place it, okay? Place it in the right place. Because that's a very strong, big plant. So you'll have to place it properly. Yeah, Jeffrey, actually. Uh, hello. Yeah, hello. I can, I can hear you. I can't see you. What's your name? I'm Smita. Hi, Jess. Smita. One minute, Smita. Actually, I have to take it to my balcony. Yes, Smita. Good, good, good. I have to take it to my balcony. Okay, you take it to your balcony and post a picture on the group. Yes, okay. yes. I, uh, I, I just want to know if this is one plant, no, because this is not separating. Yeah, that's I'm not one able big, to separate this. That's one big plant. Don't separate it. Why do you want to? Don't so separate it. That's one big. I have to cut all the black ones, right? The black roots. Yeah, only the black roots you cut. I don't think that needs to be cut at all. Leave it as it is. Smita, don't cut anything. Smita, don't cut anything. Leave it as it is. Yes, yes. Okay. And I already have a... Uh, I'll just show you. Jeff, can you see mine? Yes. Ah. Yeah. Jeff, can you see mine, please? Where? Who's mine? <laughs> name, 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 please. Zenith, Zenith. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Ah, Zenith. Good. Jeff, I really Zenith. don't mind. Good, Zenith. Wait, 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 wait. I'm talking to Zenith. Wait. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry. That's a nice grill, but does it get sun? Yeah, it's facing east. Facing is very good. Yeah. Super, super. Jeff, uh, this is Priya. I have shifted it to some other place. Yeah, Priya, one minute. I'm I'm surfing. He's spotlighting. Uh, Kiran nice is Priya. spotlighting it. So he's Priya Rajan. Priya, right. You're spotlighting Priya? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that looks better. Nicer, nicer. Nicer, nicer. Very nice. Nice, nice. <laughs> very nice. Okay. Okay. Roman Alara. Roman Alara. Yes, Divya. Yeah, okay. That's good, Divya. That's good. Divya looking good. Baby, yeah, just depends you. where you're going to place it, okay? I have a question. Mm. I have to place it outside. Huh? Yeah. Huh? I'll do it later. Devi, huh? for all those who have finished showing Jeff the orchid, can you mm -hmm. mute yourselves, please? So we'll um, ensure that yes, the rest I just have a question, if you don't mind. Yeah. yeah. Tell me. Yeah, Jeff, this is my old orchid plant. Uh, okay, one minute before you go there. I just want you all to see what we are doing. Can you mute all? Please, can you mute? Yeah, I'm going to mute all. Yeah, just mute all. I'm just going to unmute you one sec, Jeff. Just a minute, I'm going to unmute Jeff. Okay, guys, this is the uh, miniature garden which uh, I'm planning to do on my next workshop. Yeah, just have an idea of what's happening. I've set it in a box. Yeah, it's in a wooden box and just a piece of wood which I found around. And these are the little gnomes. Can you see the gnomes sitting there? Yeah. These gnomes and see this uh, sort of a 
quirky uh, mushroom with a couple of them there. And this is a mushroom baby, just lying down and having a bask in the sun. Okay, this is a mushroom baby. And then we have the steps going up on the hillock to the fairy house. See the fairy house? And that's set under a tree. Yeah, with some lights on it. This is another plant, which is a live plant. This is another very, very, very common shrub, which I've used, which looks really rustic and big. Yeah, with the pebbles. Just set for some color. Yeah, so this is going to be the next workshop. Yeah, thinking of Christmas and Diwali, we thought we'll do something with lights. So that's how it's going to look, okay? Looks fantastic, Jeff. Really enjoying those smurf, those little yeah, nose. Smurfy guy looks very cute, yeah. yeah look at that nose. <laughs> yeah, this guy is very cute. But he's, I don't know if the features are really seen. He's got a very cute face. And look at his legs. He's just lying down on this tree bark. Okay, th just for an idea, that's what we are doing next. Thank you, Preeti. Wow. Thank Anything more that. I can take? Mostly, it's uh, the question is about then the plant is together. When the plant comes in the pot and maybe two plants are together, the weight is too much. And if they're unable to separate the plant and they put it together and the weight is too much, how do they handle it? Now, if the weight is too much, it has to be tied to the grill. Can you see this? Can you see how I've tied all this? Can you see this? It's being tied to this tree. Now, see this one. It's a very heavy one, but it's not falling. It's not going to break and fall. But I've just let it go because I want it to come out. If not, if I tie this there, it's not going to get sufficient sunlight. So it's come out because it wants more sun. So I let it be. But can you see all this is tied? You just have to keep on tying it. As it goes and gets bigger, you have to just tie it. See on the top here also, it's all tied. It's all tied. See? So, so as the plant grows, as the plant grows, you have to tie it. Now, if the, a long one comes up here, I will tie it here. If this gets too heavy, I will tie this here. So you just have to keep on tying it as it goes. Wonderful. Yes, Preeti, anything else? Uh, I'm sure uh, if there is any more questions, they will most welcome to post on the group. So those who are interested in workshops of this kind should join our green club, try the green goddesses and enjoy Jata has something to say, so I'm just going to unmute her for a bit. Preeti? Yes, Preeti? Yes, Sujata? Yeah, can you just uh, put the spotlight? I just want to show uh, Jeff. One second. Yeah, Jeff? Yeah, Sujata? So that one is tied on the grill. Yes. And I put the other one, I had separated it into two, and the other one I put it on the pot here. Yeah, that's okay. As long as they get sunlight. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. They must get sunlight. Okay. So Kalpana has this question. There's no sunlight below the two coconut trees and the mango tree. Is it okay if I tie it there? I think uh, she will get partial sunlight. So that's not a problem, I think. Okay. Never mind if you don't get direct sun. Okay. If you get partial sunlight also, no problem. Who is Smitha? Is she Ayush? Yes, Smitha is Ayush. She wants to say something. Tell me, Smitha. You must unmute yourself and then speak, uh, Smitha. Please, yeah, yeah. Unmute. You are muted. I have asked her to unmute. Uh, this is my old orchid plant. 
and as you said i just left it unattended and the leaves started coming up very nicely okay but then what are these roots coming like this i am not able to can you just guide me what to do now that is a fresh plant so you can cut off that and put it down okay okay Even that's you... a fresh plant that's okay. a fresh plant it's come up from your energizer okay so you can cut that and put it down there are there two coming up yes you can cut them and put them down okay in a separate pot i can um, put it in a separate pot if it's in the same mother plant a pot with the mother plant it will do better okay okay thank okay? you so much and yeah, do the same you. thing don't bury it just see that the roots are on the surface okay 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 thank super you super smita nice to see that you're getting new uh, plants i'm yeah. sure viji also should be getting new plants because they all got old, almost 3 or 4 years old and yeah. every year two or three orchids were coming up i lovely. just left it as it is and okay. uh, luckily all the new plants have come up so i was that's what really so don't, don't think your orchid is dead and throw it away your yes, orchid just yes. lies dormant for some time yeah, to restart your orchid and if you think you're not getting flowers for a long time all you have to do is one hand of coffee powder okay ordinary coffee ground coffee powder without sugar or anything don't make coffee and pour it just the coffee powder okay okay one hand of coffee powder every month and the uh, and the plant will restart they go dormant and please don't expect it to fly every month you no, get once a year a year yes, once, once a year, year right once right. a year once a year once a year right lovely thank you so lovely yeah, thank you so much final question would be uh, when you water the plants every day how much is enough that's what i told you sprinkle water on the on the root area where the stones are do not wet the leaves the leaves should not be wet every day okay if you find they are very very dusty then you can sprinkle little little water maybe once in two months or whatever don't wet your leaves because the leaves will get black spotted right and they get uh, really don't look good you pour water every day pour it on the root sprinkle so th till the drips come out from the bottom that's all then you know that you have sprinkled sufficient don't uh, pour too much okay right jeff and what happens if it rains that's okay that's natural natural water no problem even if they are soaked and drenched in it no problem they do really well in this weather but not our water should not be poured every day on the leaves yeah mine was lying in the balcony only it was getting drenched rain water was coming yeah they yes. do very well with the first rain and yeah. they all brighten up and look beautiful right jeff thank you thank you so much for this excellent and most refreshing workshop thank you brioni for that wonderful um camera work i know it's a lot of hand work and <laughs> extensively you've been uh, doing it for That's all all right Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you, thank you, Cassie. I know that those cute murfs were done by you. All your cake skills are coming in beautiful. So I just want to say that again, Jeff. Thank you. We, we are so patient, and uh, we really make sure that each one is taken care of. As you know, that you can check out this um, video in our YouTube Green Goddess YouTube. Follow us on all our social media as well as DIY with Jeff. And very soon we will have further workshops. the miniature fairy tale that uh, houses that you just saw the miniature garden so looking forward to all of you joining us and uh, next edition of green goddess green club workshop we'll see you there thank you so much enjoy the evening thank bye. you bye 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 also for those still here